Welcome to Daily Armor. We're going to be in the book of Ezekiel today, chapter number 36, and looking at verses 25 through 29. Ezekiel chapter number 36, verses 25 through 29, and they say, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. Ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God." I will also save you from all your unclean, uncleanness, uncleanness, and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. And we got lots of heart conditions here. Um, the Lord is really taking a hard heart, a stony heart, and he is changing that heart. And that's what he does for each and every one of us. Today, um, the day that I, today I'm, it's Valentine's Day. And what more wonderful, uh, you know, gift for Valentine's Day than to receive that, that loving heart sent from the Lord. Um, I have on, I know you can't see it in the video, but I have on a um, shirt this morning that was a, a gift to me. Um, and it was, it says 1 John 4, 19. And 1 John 4, 19 says, we love him because he first loved us. So our love is in response to his love. He initiated it. And here, if you read these verses, God is initiating this. He says, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. He is initiating. He is explaining what he is fixing to do. What he's going to do, he is explaining. We love him because he first loved us. He, he initiated the love to us. Um, I, I'm just so thankful and I'm so grateful for the day that he saved me. And I have been transformed and changed. Um, and it, it's, there's so many things that happen so quickly. Um, and knowledge and things, that's things that I'm constantly learning and constantly growing in. But he gave me a brand new heart um, that Monday night, um, July 18th in 2000, that he saved me. He gave me a brand new heart. Um, and when I read this, I realize the details of what all he has done for me. And if you're saved, he has done all these same things for you. And it says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. So we, he starts out by cleaning our heart. Um, and then it says, verse 26, A new heart also will I give you, a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. He is taking that hard heart, and he's replacing it with a brand new, soft, sensitive, wonderful heart. Um, a heart that is going to be appreciative of what God has done. So he's going to take something hard and dead. He's going to give it life. And that's what he did for me. And that's what he's done for you. If you're saved, that's what he's done for you. 27, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. So then he's going to give us that submissive heart. We're going to be, we're going to we're going to read in his word. It's going to be like a mirror. We're going to we're going to look at it. And we're going to be like, "Oh Lord, I'm guilty of that. And I don't want to do this anymore. And I don't want to live that way anymore. And I don't want to act like that anymore. And I don't want to react like that anymore. And I don't want to be angry. And uh, Lord, I see myself and I'm 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 angry and I'm bitter and I don't want to be those things. And he's saying he can take that and he can clean it all up and he can replace it. And we're, we need only to submit to him. And that's when we're, what we're doing when we're following his, when we are walking in his statutes, that's when we are actually not just reading the words on the page, but we are actively using the words on the page. We are applying them to our life and we are submitting to what he is explaining, what he is teaching. We are submitting to him. So he gives us the ability to have that submissive heart. 
Um, and in verse 28, And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will be your God. That is telling me that I will have a dependent heart, that I no longer am out here trying to do things on my own. I no longer am out here um, needing to do things on my own, but I will. I am a dependent heart. I have a dependent heart, dependent upon the Lord. And that, that it says, um, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. He is my God, and I depend on him. I rely on him. I seek him. I go to him. I can ask him and talk to him about anything. I am I probably the person that I am absolutely the closest to is my husband. And there is so many things that... Um, he and I can talk about and share, and we are just very, very close couple. But there are still some things that I just don't share with him, that I don't talk to him about, that I only think that God himself can handle. Um, the thoughts and the the fears and the struggles and the things that goes on in my mind um, and the things that I can't even put into words sometimes, and that's why sometimes I, I can't even talk to Todd about it, um, is because I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but I can talk to my Heavenly Father, and He knows exactly uh, what's going on. He knows the struggles that I have. He knows the the difficulties. He knows the, the things that bother me. He knows those hidden memories that I try so hard to forget. I try so hard to, um, to not ponder on him and not change and not, not, um, you know, let that affect me. And he knows that, um, that I need him and I know, I know I need him. I need him. And I, I say, Lord, I'm, this is, you know, you know that you know what's going on in my mind and I'm trying so hard not to dwell on the past. I'm trying so hard not to let the past, um, you know, be a stumbling block for my present and my future. And Lord, give me, you know, give me something to think about. And I can always think about him and I can always turn to him. I can always turn to him. And so he's given me that dependent heart. And I was a very independent uh, heart. Um, I have very strong willed, um, and he's changed my heart to now I'm very dependent upon him. Um, he meets my needs. Um, my husband can, you know, he can try to meet needs. Um, and he, and if God gives him that ability. He can meet my needs, but ultimately I know that it's coming from God. And he knows that it's coming from God. If he's able to um, supply things for our home, it's because God's giving him that ability. So ultimately, my dependence, and I, and I found that out a long time ago, that my dependence wasn't in my husband. It wasn't in myself. But my dependence is uh, can only be put on the Lord because He's the one. He's the only one that can handle it, and, and that is able. Um, so He's give, given me a dependent heart, and that's not a bad thing. Um, if we're dependent upon the Lord, that's that's kind of um, a wonderful place to be to depend on Him, to rely on Him, because then when things happen and we're looking for the hand of the Lord, I was telling Todd yesterday, and we were talking about a few, a uh, few things. And I said, I am, you know, I'm looking, um, even in little, in some kind of little small area where I see just that little glimmer of hope. I'm looking and I'm expecting the hand of God. That's because I am depending upon him. I'm relying on him. And so then we go to verse 29. It says, and I will also save you from all your uncleanness. And I will call for the corn and I will increase it and lay no famine upon you. So there we have a sanctified heart. We are set apart. Um, he is sanctifying our heart and we are relying on him to do all of this. Um, but he has set us apart and he is saying that he is going to provide even in the, he's not saying that, that he, that there will be no famine. He's just saying that we won't experience a famine. Um, I would say that I have experienced some very lean days, um, some very, very lean moments, but never an ultimate famine. Um, it, it looked like it was going to be a famine. It looked like it was getting close to a famine. It looked like that there was not going to be anything in the cabinets. 
Um, but then, uh, you know, through God's hand, he provided and he provided abundantly. And, and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful um, for what God is doing and that we are set apart. Um, he is doing all these things because he has a plan for me and he has a plan for you. And he is lo he, he loves us. Um, even in, you know, even before that he gave us that, um, new heart, even when it was a heart of stone, um, he is love, uh, loving on us and gracious to us and through his, um, wonderful plan. And he's got a plan laid out here. I mean, he's, he's letting us in on some things. This is what he's, uh, what he's uh, got planned. If you're listening and you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, this is his plan for you. This is what he wants for you. He wants to take um, that and he wants to give you a new heart. He wants to take that, that heart of stone, that stony heart. He wants to remove it and he wants to give you a heart of flesh, a heart of flesh. A stone is hard and dead and it's not a pliable, but a new heart, a heart of flesh, a heart of flesh is soft and tender and pliable and workable and the Lord can do so much with us and he's going to do the work we just need to submit to him so I, I I call out to you today is Valentine's Day and what a wonderful day to be the day of salvation to get that stone of heart that that heart of stone that stony heart and to receive a new heart of flesh an only you only have to submit unto the Lord um, and cry out unto him and ask him to save you and see yourself that lost sinner and unable to make up for any of your sins. Um, but he's got a plan and it's laid out here. Um, he's laid it out here in Ezekiel and he can give you that clean heart and new heart and a soft heart and the submissive heart and a dependent heart and that sanctified set apart kind of heart. You need only to submit to him call out to the Lord today. What a wonderful Valentine's gift to get would be to receive a brand new heart. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.